CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, revealed that at a crucial moment, the sheet covering Sheila's body was lifted, and Deacon saw a full set of ten toes. Deacon was quite surprised at first, but he quickly regained his composure. He insisted on going to the cremation site so he could clearly identify the body. If that corpse indeed has ten toes, then it definitely is not Sheila. Deacon is anxious to see the body, but now that is in the process of being cremated, Deacon's not allowed to go in there. Carol Ferret, the man in charge, stopped Deacon and tried to console him. Deacon confirmed that the body was not Sheila's, but Carl Ferret thought Deacon was so heartbroken that he had delusions. He hoped that Sheila would come back to life, so he realized that the body was not Sheila's. Meanwhile, the police had previously concluded that Sheila was dead. Meanwhile, Zende discovers that he now has more opportunities to stay with Luna. After all, Zende and Luna are part of the same company, so there will be no shortage of opportunities for Zende and the hope for to approach Luna, Thomas has left Hope for the future project. He and Hope couldn't be together, and Thomas was willing to leave everything behind in Los Angeles to go to Paris to start a life without. Thomas is the main designer, Zende and Luna, responsible for this project. Hope for the future is a very important project, so Zende and Luna had put a whole lot of effort into it. RJ also knows that Luna will have to interact a lot with Zende in the near future. He and Luna have talked about this issue. Luna promises RJ that she will keep her distance from Zende, so there can be no misunderstandings. But can Luna fulfill that promise? Zende will take advantage of this opportunity to capture Luna. Elsewhere, Steffi is no longer so strict with Finn. Finn still goes to Sheila's memorial, even though Steffi doesn't like it. But after Finn returned, Steffi didn't blame him anymore. On the contrary, Steffi also cares about Finn. Perhaps Sheila's death affected Finn quite a bit. He was miserable, even though Sheila had previously caused a lot of trouble for his family. Steffi asks how Finn feels after returning from Sheila's memorial service. How did Finn feel after coming to see Sheila off on the final stretch of the road? Finn honestly shared with Steffi that he thought it was too late for him to express his condolences to Sheila. He couldn't have gotten along with Sheila sooner. However, it must be admitted that Finn felt more or less comforted after attending the memorial service. He officially said goodbye to Sheila, and he no longer regrets anything.